Hello and welcome back to Raw Synergy TV. Back in June I told you about my juice cleanse and in that video I mentioned wanting to make a future video about my connection with nature during the cleanse. I've always had a strong connection with nature but during the cleanse the connection up leveled on a dramatic level. So today I'm going to show you the video and photos of these connections. Now, some of you probably live in an area where all of these things are totally normal and you see them every single day. But for me, where I live, it's not that common. And as long as I've lived here, I haven't seen this kind of animal and nature activity especially within such a close proximity to each other. So I really wanted to share this with all of you. So starting about a little over a month into my juice cleanse on February 1st, I happened to be looking out in my backyard and saw this beautiful hawk. It probably saw a lizard or something and it came down looking for something to eat. We have a lot of trees around our property and in our neighborhood and we often hear and see the hawks flying overhead but I've never seen one on the ground so I was just standing there mesmerized and I was so happy I had my phone close by so I could get it on film. Whenever I see special sightings like this, I always love to look up the spiritual and metaphysical meanings behind them. Hawks are absolutely magical, and according to Crystal Clear Intuition online, hawks represent determination, focus, leadership, clarity, future planning, intuitive decision making, and protection. They often show up when you are called to complete a goal or mission and need strength and encouragement to keep moving forward. Hawks are often believed to be messengers from the spirit realm. So this message really resonated with me, especially for what I was going through during the juice cleanse. It really gave me strength and encouragement to keep going. Only two days after the hawk sighting, I happened to be sitting at my kitchen counter when I heard this loud bang on our sliding door. When I walked over, I saw this beautiful hummingbird lying on the ground, shaking. Oh my goodness, it broke my heart. So I ran outside and I put my hands over it to give it some healing energy and just help it to feel safe and comfortable. Eventually I was able to pick it up and put it in my hands and send more loving energy to this beautiful bird. It took about 40 minutes or so before it started to perk up and I ended up taking it over to one of the trumpet vines and sticking its beak into one of the flowers and it started peeping and just really, really perking up at that point. Eventually it got comfortable enough where it could leave my hands and I helped it onto the fence and we kind of just stared at each other for a little while and then it took off. It was such a magical moment. On February 20th, I happened to be standing in our backyard when all of a sudden so many of these wild green parrots decided to land in the tree overhead. It's been speculated that these birds migrated here from Mexico or that people brought them into California and they just proliferated and are now thriving here. But I honestly have never ever seen this many all at once. 
They're really beautiful birds up close. They have these bright, bright green feathers with touches of red and lavender. And you always know when they're around because when they're flying overhead, they have that loud, squeaky, squawky sound. You cannot miss them. Around here, typically you'll see a handful of them flying by or landing in a tree, but seeing this many was a huge surprise. February 22nd happens to be the anniversary of my mom's passing, and I actually didn't even realize it when I took these photos on this day where it was raining and the sun came out and I ran outside to grab some photos and when I was looking back through my photos to make this video I realized that this rainbow showed up on the five-year anniversary of her passing. I always welcome signs from the other side and my mom is so good at this so this was a beautiful surprise. March 3rd ended up being a really special day. I found two gifts on our property. The first, on our head out for our morning walk, we found this beautiful white-lined sphinx moth in the driveway. Unfortunately, it had already expired. It looks like the wing was broken, but it was still really lovely to see something so unique and beautiful that we could appreciate reminding us how delicate nature is and to appreciate life in all of its forms. The second thing I discovered on this day, I kept seeing a family of wild finches flying in and around my wreath on my front door and I thought that they were taking the twigs out of the wreath to go make a nest somewhere else, but when I looked closer they were actually making a nest inside the wreath against the front door. I was blown away because I didn't even know this was possible. Keep watching to see the eggs and the baby birds later in the video. A couple days later, on March 5th, I happened to find this guy in our garage right at the edge where the door comes down. Typically, lizards in our area look more like these guys with shorter tails and they're much quicker. This guy was very, very slow moving and it was a big surprise to see a lizard with such a long tail. I've never seen one of these before. When I looked it up online, it's known as an alligator lizard. It certainly does look a lot like an alligator and it definitely moves like an alligator. We have so many regular lizards around our property and I love watching them. Here's a little baby and you can see how fast they are. Lizards have an amazing ability to release their tails as a means of survival. Because of this, they often symbolize internal power, renewal, and regeneration. This felt like a very timely symbol for me, mirroring back the renewal and regeneration I was doing on my juice cleanse. By March 5th, the bird's nest on the front door was really taking shape, and I thought you guys might really enjoy seeing the beauty and the progress of what these birds are capable of. This particular house finch had such style and flair. I was absolutely blown away by the architecture and design of this sweet little home that she was preparing for her babies who would be arriving any time now. Since I don't use any fabric softener and my laundry detergent is very natural, I decided to provide a little bit of dryer lint in the upper part of the wreath in case she wanted to use it in her nest. And I was delighted to see that she took it right away and started utilizing it. 
After doing a little research, I found out it's not that uncommon for a bird to build a nest inside a wreath on a door. They really like the protection of the entryway and it feels safe for them away from predators and other large birds. I've had wreaths on my front door for years and this has never happened, so this was very exciting. On March 9th, she laid her first egg and what I discovered through my research is that finches will lay one egg per day. I also found out that the mama bird doesn't sit on her eggs until the very last one has been laid. That way they will all hatch around the same time. This particular mama bird would lay her egg and then she would not come back around until the following day. I was always very, very careful not to disturb the nest while she was around always waiting for her to leave before I got close to take photos or video. On my mom's birthday, March 13th, she laid her fifth and final egg. It takes 13 to 14 days for the eggs to hatch, and on April 1st, I was able to get my first glimpse of these beautiful baby birds. On April 6th, I got my final video of the birds before they left the nest. They really got big fast, and I just love their fuzzy heads. I waited until April 11th before I took down the wreath and cleaned up the front door from all the bird poop. There was quite a bit there. It turned out only four of the eggs hatched and one was left behind. I was so shocked at how tiny this egg is. I placed it next to a half teaspoon for reference of size. On the very same day the baby finches left their nest, we had new arrivals coming in. A couple of mountain chickadees were the very first birds to utilize one of the many, many birdhouses we have on our property and have had for a very long time. So it was really exciting to finally see some birds taking up residence. On May 9th, about three days after I had put up a fresh wreath on the front door, I heard lots of bird activity going on, and when I checked, sure enough, there was a new nest in the making. And just like before, I put some fresh dryer lint at the very top of the wreath, and this mama bird was obviously in a big hurry to get her nest done because she dragged it all down and nestled it right into the base of the nest like a very comfy, cozy bed for her soon-to-arrive babies. And on May 13th, she laid her first egg. I noticed this mama bird was very different from the first. She never really left the area and was very attentive to the nest and the eggs. On May 16th, she laid her fourth and final egg. It was so much fun to have another family of finches chirping outside my front door. Meanwhile, our yard has become a safe haven for lots and lots of bunnies. We had one bunny show up last August, so my husband named him August. And this spring, we have seen so many bunnies. Every day we see them out there. They love the hibiscus bush we have in our yard. They sit underneath it in the shade munching on all the hibiscus flowers that have fallen to the ground, as well as nibbling on herbs and foliage around the garden. I know in some areas bunnies can be really invasive and kind of destroy your yard and your garden, but so far we found these bunnies to be very beneficial just to help clean up a little bit around the yard. Plus, they're so darn cute and so much fun to watch. 
I absolutely love and adore having them around. On May 31st, my husband and I were out for our usual morning walk when I happened to see this baby crow just sitting in the gutter of the street. It was sitting in the gutter just like this. And I was very concerned about it because I could see that it was alive, but it wasn't moving and it didn't even flinch when I approached it. So I knew something wasn't right. Luckily where I live, they really value the wildlife and you can call them to report an injured animal and they'll come out right away and inspect the animal and provide immediate care if needed. When I called, they told me someone would be out right away to check on the bird. And since we both had places we needed to be, we continued to walk so we could get back home. Before I headed out to my appointment, I decided to drive over and check on the baby crow. And when I did, it had hobbled down the street and was sitting in the middle of the road with several crows around it trying to help it. As I drove up, the bigger crows flew off into the trees and the baby crow hobbled right underneath my car. It was a pretty hot day, so I think the baby bird was very relieved to find some immediate shade and protection. At this point, now I definitely couldn't leave, so the beautiful soul I was planning to meet came to me, and we waited for the officer to arrive as the larger crows waited along with us up in the trees. When he did arrive, he quickly swooped up the baby bird from underneath the car to examine and see exactly what was wrong with it. He was super knowledgeable and gave us all kinds of information about crows and what happens during fledgling season as they're learning to fly. He told us a way to identify a baby crow is by their blue eyes. As they get older, their eyes turn dark in color. It turned out that this baby crow had a damaged wing, which they would then take to an animal bird sanctuary where the bird would be repaired, rehabilitated, and released back into this exact neighborhood so it could be with its family in familiar surroundings. This was a huge relief, and with that, we were off to our original destination. On July 6th, the day that I recorded my juice cleanse video and told you about wanting to make this video, I had another hawk visitation, this time from a baby hawk that showed up early in the morning and stayed until late afternoon. There were quite a few times throughout that video where you could hear the hawk as well as the baby finches chirping on my front door. Every single day. Thanks to all the knowledge and wisdom I gained from the officer that came out for the baby crow, I could tell that this young hawk was just spreading its wings and learning how to fly. They typically will stay on the ground for quite a while before they really take flight. And by late afternoon, this gorgeous little being had made its way back up into the large eucalyptus trees overhead. With all this amazing bird symbolism showing up in my life, I started to think about how cool it would be to have an owl sighting. I've always loved owls, but they're pretty elusive and they don't show up too often around here. But to my surprise, on July 8th, as I was getting ready for bed, I heard that magical sound. Since it was really dark outside, I wasn't able to see the owl, but I knew that it was close by. I could tell it was up in the neighbor's tree next door, and that was very exciting. Honorable mentions are going to the chipmunk and the squirrel that ran through my yard, which I've never seen here before, ever. 
there really fast, but I did get a quick little video snippet of the chipmunk sneaking through. Do you pay attention to the messengers and the symbolism that shows up in your life? Do you take note of what's going on around you? Or do you just pass it off as coincidence and no big deal? The universe is always speaking to you, but if you're not aware of it, you may not notice. I hope this video helped you to see the beauty and the magic that's unfolding around you at all times. You don't have to go on a cleanse or be a raw foodist in order to see and experience these things in your life, although in my experience these things really do help to raise your vibration and increase your sensitivity and awareness of these magical things happening in your life and around you. But if you just decide that you want to be open to it, your thing may be finding dimes and pennies on the ground or hearing specific songs with the right lyrics at just the right time. It can be anything, really. I find the more I acknowledge and appreciate them, the more they show up. If you love nature and animals and you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in health and wellness with a focus on living foods as well as spirituality, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.